Okay, we'll call on Lance Pugmire. Lance Pugmire next, champ. Lance Pugmire. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Don? I, uh, speaking I'm of doing speaking great, of man. good, good. Speaking of you going home, what's it like for you? I mean, are you a particularly sentimental guy uh, and coming b back home to Ohio? What are your thoughts as you step back into the you know the ground that you used to walk over uh, daily? Well, you know what? I really never left. You know what I mean? My physical being has left. I was going to another great state of Florida, and but I got houses in Las Vegas. So when I was in the great state of Nevada, but Senator Harry Reid, whom I just lost, uh, what America just lost, one of the great friends of mine, both of us come from humble, humble beginnings, and we worked very, very hard for the benefit and the betterment of the American people. And Senator Harry Reid and Senator Bob Dole, they were some very close friends of mine because they were wonderful people that were selfless. They cared about others rather than themselves and worked with themselves in order to bring about the changes that we have uh, have the benefit of right now. So it'd be good to go home and revisit because that's where my headquarters is still there, you know what I mean? Because that's where the memories came and where it was and you don't forget from whence you come. I mean, so there's a the big training camp there, you know, where Muhammad Ali coming all the way down the line from Muhammad, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali, all of them had a chance to train there and we made it a, a place where you could identify, relate to, and be a part of. So it's like it's like coming home. You know what I mean? It's a thrill beyond description. Uh, you just have to be able to deal with it and know within yourself that this is great. And those of us that are still there that used to be here, uh, great. You'd be happy to see them. But the, the spirit of those that that are passed on and went on high, you you enjoy that 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 reoccurrence. You know, in 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 the in down memory lane in the journey of life. So it's gonna be a real thrill for me to get back there and not snow. You know, we go to Florida, you go to Florida because you go for the climate, you know what I mean? The sunshine, but it rains all the time. But you know, in, in Ohio you get that blistering snow, and that's what they got now. And that's what champions have to do. They have to adapt and acclimate themselves to the different climates, you know what I mean? Not only with the fight in front of them, they got to be ready to be able to, to deal with the snowman. You know what I mean? <laughs> so therefore, that gives the fighter all the different variations of what it could be and how it could be. You know what I mean? So ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from being the champion of the world. The dream, and the dream come true. Absolutely. Coming back with the heavyweight champion has got to mean something to you. Obviously, you scratched and clawed through life to make something of yourself. But can you provide us an update? What's the latest on the... Macabu Canelo talks. Are they, is that officially off now, or are you still holding out hope that that fight could happen? Well, you know, it can't happen before you give this guy named uh, Tabiso, uh, it, it was a Machuhu, you know, because don't forget, you can't count the chickens before they hatch. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, he's got to be fighting on the 29th. Macabu will demonstrate his talent, his skill, and his ability on the same show on the 29th, and, it, and, 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 and winning that show, he has a great opportunity because he's been called out, not him seeking uh, Canelo, Canelo seeking him. So that makes it all together different. And so now he wants to be able to demonstrate that he's going to stop Canelo, but he got to first get past uh, M. Chu. You know what I mean? So therefore, that's what makes this card even more exciting, more provocative, and more beautiful. That's the co main event along with. Uh, uh, champion Trevor Bryant. And so it's going to be a great, great, great evening of boxing. And 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 and, and Sal Canella, uh, you know, was a great Mexican fighter. And I'm a great Mexican promoter because mi casa su casa. You know, I'm right there. Mucho uh -huh. supposed to apoyo to care mucho el pueblo. You know, viva Mexico. You know, so, that was, so I'm right there. So me and, me and Sal got to get together because all of the great fighters of Mexican, you know, Julio Cesar Chavez, all of them were there with me. You know, so we got everybody working as we work together and to promote. So it's going to be fabulous. You know what I mean? So Canelo is a big star shining out there in the distance. You can see it in the distance, you know, like the northern star. You know what I mean? When we were trying to escape from slavery, following that star, he ended up in Canada somewhere, running away from here because they had it in, in bondage. All right. So therefore, we got to be now ready. You know, so, so Canelo is that star. He's up there the way and all of them get paid. You know what I mean? But Canelo wants the title. He don't care about none of them. He wants the title, and so therefore, he's after that title, and he's going to try to get it. Well, Macabu says when he gets through uh, beating uh, M. Chuchu, that in the way he's going to get to him, he's going to knock him out. So now, that also adds luster and anticipation and excitement 
uh, to this car. So this is going to be a super spectacular car. And, and Canelo's in the background. So, you know, he's, 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 he's me amigo, you know, or my brother, you know what I mean, whatever you know. So it's, 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 uh, uh, it's going to be happy for me all the way around. And hopefully I can get him to come in uh, to be at the fight. He, so far, he said he don't want to come all that cold snow. So, you know, maybe maybe the sun is shining one day. <laughs> he right. old Canelo in there. <laughs> so he can witness he can witness true greatness from the two fighters, uh, Macabu and, uh, and 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 Tabiso. So it's going to be great, man. This is really going to be an exciting, provocatively beautiful spectacular that's going to take place on an extravaganza second to none. And I'm excited about it. Yeah, and last thing, tr tr last yeah, thing for you. Oh, sorry. Last thing for you, oh. Trevor. I I just wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously with uh, the heavyweight division uh, really having a renaissance with Tyson Fury and uh, Anthony Joshua, o Usyk and Wilder performing so strong. Can you talk about the maybe the pressure that you feel to be sensational on this on this fight card to make sure that your name is, you know, being elevated into those into that circle? Um, it's no pressure at all. I'm the heavyweight champion as well. My name is going to be a mention among those same guys that you just said to me. Um, by continuing to get these good fights I'm getting now on January 29th and to continue from there. Um, again, like I said, Trevor Bryan's here to stay. I'm here to defend this title with the best. So um, you guys going to see my name. I'm going to be sensational. Like I said, I just have to get past January 29th with um, Jonathan Goodrick. And um, like I said, you guys are going to be seeing the dream much more of me. Thank you both so much.